the silent reminder to please turn off your cell phones, okay, and that we're getting ready for a concert. But for some reason, the volume was down, so we didn't hear the announcement. Good evening, thank you for joining us. It's my joy to welcome back Magda Schwertzmann from Switzerland. And we are going to be playing tonight, actually Magda Schwertzmann will be playing for you tonight, the history of the flute as it went from this instrument in her hands to this instrument in mine. Thanks for joining us, we hope you enjoy.
Good evening. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy to play here. It will be an ex exciting evening to play through more than 300 years of music, of history, of the roots in one and a half an hour. We started with my kind of oldest flute, the lowest one. We hear that the flutes will tune higher and higher. It will change the character of the flutes. The lower, it's kind of a very warm color. When I change now to a later baroque key tuning, you will hear it's higher and it's a, more, a little bit more brilliant. So I will play now from Boimontier from the suite number five, four movements.
now is from the early French Baroque, but I will play the Wamoke, to the High German Baroque. We played from Bach a duet. The difference of the flute is it's a more heavy, a heavier wood, and it makes the flute louder and a little bit clearer again. So this is a still kind of the same the um, conical flute with four pieces, one key. It will change them for the new epoch in classical style.
the style. We have now the temperature tuning. This means we don't change the fingering between uh, A sharp, uh, A sharp and the B flat, or between a G sharp and the A flat. Everything gets tempered. It's a win that's going a little bit more virtuosic, but it's also a loss of colors. When we had a tune of D major, what we have all strong notes. Or a D minor with very weak notes in between. So each tonality has an, it, its character. And this gets lost when we have the temperature tuning with the keys. But the um, tuning is also getting higher, even more virtuosic, more brilliant, and it's still lovely.
first time you hear Mozart with instruments from the time of the 18th century. It's really something different. I love it. <laughs> it's a challenge when I play all these different flutes because all these different flutes have different fingerings. They have the different measuring and I have to blow different. So when I take a little bit of time at the beginning, I need to get connected to the instrument and the instrument needs to get warm as the wood, the warmer and the more humid it is, it sounds nicer and the intonation fits better. When I change now to the romantic flute, early romantic flute, You see, the flute gets more and more keys. As the music gets more and more virtuosic, with four keys of the classical flute, you don't get around anymore. I still had some weak sounds for Mozart, so they put more keys on it, that it gets all stronger. But still the flute is conical, so it's still soft. And when you think what kind of orchestras we will have during the 19th century, they are bigger and bigger, up to a hundred instrumentalists. With this soft flute, we can understand that the romantic composers thought, this instrument doesn't fit for this music. I'm sure if they would have known the modern flute, they would have composed only for flute. <laughs> <laughs> what you will hear now, it's one, of the most famous uh, uh, romantic flute music piece from by Schubert, you get an, a little appetizer. It's really interesting to play as I have at least three to five fingerings for each sound. So I have to think about, okay, does this fit better or does this sound better? It's quite a complicated thing, but a really interesting. We wish one for everybody. <laughs>
much easier but I think that the colors with the forte piano and this flute is so so great so interesting so various I really love it as it became more and more complicated with all this key Theobald Boom helped us with a new system you see it looks now really different the Boom system is used up to today also for other instruments, wind instruments. What I have here is an original flute from 1860 by Louis Lott, one of the most famous flute makers in the 19th century. It's a ring key flute tuned already in 440. So we are, we are right now um, in the tuning what we tune today. The big difference is not only the wood, it's also that this foot is still conical, so the sound is still quite soft till it changes then to the cylindrical shape. So here it's wide and then here. I will play you from MS Köder and Adagio Patetico with this Louis Lott boom foot.
year. Fl flutists could decide which flute shall we play. From about 1831, when Be Theobald Böhm first invented the si Böhm system, it took till at least 1930, 40, perhaps 50, when all kinds of flutes what I played up to now have been played. It was not a development to getting better and better and better. Something worked easier or perhaps became better, but other things weren't lost. So it's a win and a loss at the same time. Some thought with the weak and strong notes on the traverso, it's much more interesting than when everything sounds the same. So it's really interesting that my uncle around 1930 and 40, learned a wooden flute with some keys, kind of the eight key flutes. So it's not that long that we play now the modern Böhm flute, the cylindrical one. I come now to the modern kind of flutes and I will go on with the piccolo piece. Well, come, please. <laughs>
family. I don't know who programmed this concert. Um, this is a bass flute. For those they don't know, it's the lowest flute what is usually played, but we still have all the uh, contrabass and subcontrabass flute. This is not to play a uh, piece like that anymore, but we just. Um, bass flute I will play for you from Ferru, Bercher, Captif and Jade.
flock tone lower than the normal sea flute.
today. I will play a piece by a Swiss composer, Daniel Weisberg. I really traveled with 10 flutes, 8 air pumps, 7 recorders, and I wonder how will it be in the custom. But they only were interested in the flutes, so not in the air pumps. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> um, everything went well. I'm excited to play this piece. I played it first time last fall, and it's called Autumn Poem. Autumn means breathing. A poem about breathing, about the air. Breathe out, breathe in, sing out, sing in. Ooh. With noise, with sound, without sound. A full breathing, breast breathing, belly breathing, nose breathing, circular breathing, all about breathing and air. And in German we have the, the idiom, we say, when we are exhausted, we sing ausgepumpt. So we are kind of pumped out, and I really will be pumped out at the end of this piece. <laughs> Enjoy.